<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Very next year, everything had changed because so many romance writers who had been kind of the bread and butter of publishing, but they weren't, you know, they were the ones that were just kind of cranking things out, whereas they weren't like the, you know, John Grishams of publishing, right? Right, right. Um, publishing put all their money on the John Grishams and didn't want to deal with any of the midlist authors. And so all these romance authors got their rights back to their books and started publishing themselves. And most of them were smart, savvy women who knew what to do and knew how to market and everything and changed the game overnight. And so the next year of that conference, the, it was so funny because every year women would just suck up to these people mm -hmm. on the panel. And all of a sudden it was like, uh, what have you done for me lately? Yeah. And it was a really empowering moment to see that because all of a sudden so many writers woke up and, and especially, you know, for years, women writers have always been secondary to men. And, right. you know, you've got men who can write like what's kind of termed dick lit, which mm -hmm. is like chick lit only for guys. You know, it's a slacker guy who's on you know, on able to commit who has a lousy job and just floats around um and they would get paid five times what a woman would get paid for a chiclet novel right. you know mm -hmm. and and get much more uh, muscle with the publishing house behind it and so all of a sudden to see these women just like take the power and do it themselves was great